What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ngayong araw, siyempre, meron na naman tayong panibagong lesson. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon, balikan muna natin yung nakaraan kong itinuro sa inyo. Yun ay ang Properties of Integers. Kung nais yung balikan yun, ilalagay ko yung link sa description sa baba para mabalikan nyo yung last kong itinuro. So ngayon, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo ay Lesson 2 ng Module 4. Yun ay ang Changing Fraction to Decimals and Changing Decimal to Fraction. So alam ko favorite yun to ng elementary. So balikan natin kung paano nga ba mag-change ng fraction to decimal and vice versa. So puto na tayo sa ating lesson. So dito na tayo sa susunod na ating lesson. Changing decimals naman to fractions. So kabalik tara naman ngayon. Yung mga decimals is gagawin nating fractions. So, yung first is terminating decimals muna. So, in changing terminating decimals to fractions is gagamit tayo ng um, convert decimal to base 10 fraction. So, ano yung mga base 10 fraction? 10, 100, 1000. Depende kung ilan yung mga digit after decimal point. And then, simplify. So, example, convert decimal to base 10 fraction and then simplify or Express it in its lowest term. So, number 1 is 0 0.8. So, pag binasa yan, 8 tenths. Since isa lang yung digit after the decimal point, so, ang denominator niya will be 8 over 10. Isang 0 lang. Pag binasa sa 8 tenths, kaya 8 over 10. And then, simplify natin by dividing it to Kasi yun yung kanilang GCF. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And then, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, the final answer is 4 over 5. And then, number 2, 0 0.75. Or 75 hundredths. Since dalawang digit after the decimal point, magiging 75 over 100. And then, divided by 25. Kasi yun yung kanilang GCF. So, 75 divided by 25 is 3. And then, 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, magiging 3 over 4. And then, pangato is 13 and 82 thousands. So, yung 13 ay whole number. So, 13 siya, yung malaki. And then, 82 yung numerator and denominator since that yung digit after the decimal point ang dapat ang 0 ay that to rin at pag binasa natin siya 82,000 so kaya 1,000 yung denominator so divide natin yung 82 tsaka 100 sa kanilang GCF at yun ay 2 so 82 divided by 2 is so si 13 copy natin and then 82 divided by 2 is 41 and then, 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. Si 41 tsaka si 500, relatively prime na sila. Wala nang pwedeng i-divide sa kanila maliban sa 1. So, lowest term na yan. Kaya, ang final answer is 13 and 41 over 500. So, tapos na tayo sa terminating decimal. Ngayon, paano naman kapag repeating decimals ang i-convert natin sa fractions? So, meron tayong steps na susundin. First step is, let x be equal to the repeating decimal you are trying to convert into fraction. This will be your equation 1. And then, number 2, examine the repeating decimal to find the repeating digits. So, examine natin, tignan natin ano ba yung mga umuulit na decimal. So, ilan bang digit yun? Isa, dalawa, or so and so on. And then, third step is to multiply powers of 10 to place the repeating digit or digits to the left of the decimal point. This will be your equation number 2. So, titinan natin, ilang bang powers of 10 yung ating multiply. Kung isa lang yung inuulit, times 10. Kung dalawang digit, times 2. Kung tatlo, 1,000. And so on. So, kapag ka nagawa natin yun, yun pa yung tatawagin natin equation number 2. 
and then ang apat is subtract the equation 1 from equation 2. So, equation 1 na nagawa natin, subtract down natin sa equation number 2. And then, last step is to solve the value of x. So, kung ano yung value ng x na makakuha natin, yun na po yung fraction o yung um, katumbas na fraction nung repeating decimal na yun. So, let's move on sa examples. So, let's have the first example. Convert 0 0.3 bar to fraction. So, the first step is we let x be the repeating decimal. So, 0 0.3. Ibig sabihin niyan, di ba? Yung number 3 is being repeated infinitely. So, ibig sabihin niyan, 0 0.3, 3, 3, and so on. And then, next step is ano ba yung inuulit? na digit 3. Ilan yon Isa. Since alam na natin na isa yung inuulit na digit, kailangan si 3 na inuulit na digit mapunta natin sa left side ng decimal point. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Imumultiply natin si equation 1 sa 10. Kasi, isa lang naman yung inuulit. So, x is equal to 0 0.333 and so on. Multiply natin by 10. Kasi isa lang naman yung inuulit. So, 10 times x will be 10x. And then, si 0 0.333, 0 0.3 and so on, ay magiging 3.333 and so on. So, since 10 yan, isang digit lang po yung mapupunta sa kaliwa. Kung 100, dalawa. Kung 1,000, tatlo. Pero since isa lang po, 10 lang po yung times natin, isa lang yung mapupunta sa kaliwa. So this will be our equation 2. So the next step is equation 2 minus equation 1. So magiging so, sa si equation 2 muna, 10x is equal to 3.33 and so on. Minus yung equation 1 na x is equal to 0 0.3 and so on. So, pag sinubtract natin yan, 10 minus yung kasama ni x na 1. So, automatic kapag walang kasama si x, hindi na, wala siya nakasulat na kasama, automatic 1 yung kasama niya. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. And then, copy natin si x. 9x is equal to 3 minus 0 is 3. And then, itong 3, 3 na infinitely repeated, ganoon din sa baba, makakancel na yan kasi 0 na yan eh. So, 9x is equal to 3. So, pang limang step is to divide natin kasi kailangan natin mahanap yung value ng x. So, since may kasamang x si 9, divide natin both sides, yung equation by 9, para makancel si 9 dito. So, 9 divided by 9 is x. And then, 3 divided by 9. So, 3 over 9, pero kailangan natin yung lowest term. So, magiging x is equal to 1 over 3. So, the final answer is x equal to 1 third. So, therefore, 0 0.3 bar is equal to 1 third in fraction. Let's have the second example. Convert 0 0.25 bar to fraction. So, the first thing to do is we let x be 0 0.25, 25, and so on. So that will be our equation 1. Next step is to identify ilang digit yung inuulit. So dito po, dalawa yung inuulit. So kailangan yung dalawang digit na inuulit na yun mapunta sa left side. 
since dalawa yung inuulit na digit, ang power of 10 na imumultiply natin dapat is 10 squared. Kasi dalawa yung inuulit eh. Kanina, 10 raised to 1 yun, kaya 10 lang. Pero ngayon, 10 squared. Yun dapat yung imumultiply natin sa equation 1. So, x is equal to 0 0.2525. And so on. So, by the way, 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10. So, that will be 100. So, 100 times x is 100x equal to 100 times 0 0.25, 25 and so on. So, since 100 po yan, dalawa po yung 0, dalawang decimal place din yung iuusog natin to the right. So, magiging 25.25 and so on. So, yan naman yung ating equation number 2. So, the fourth step is to subtract equation 1 from equation So, ano ba equation 2? Yan yung 100x is equal to 25 point and so on minus yung equation 1 natin na x is equal to 0 0.25 and and so on. So, subtract natin. 100x minus x is, si x may kasamang 1, so 100 minus 1 is 99x is equal to 25 minus 0 is 25. And then, cancelled out na to. So, sweat ko dito, 99x is equal to 25. Since kailangan natin yung value ng x, divide natin both sides by 99 para ma-cancel yung kasamang 99 na x. So, cancelled out. x is equal to 25 over 99. So, examine natin kung meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide kay 25 at saka 99 parehas. Bukod sa 1. So, wala na. Okay. So, ang final answer natin is x is equal to 25 over 99. You can also say that 0 0.25 bar is equal to 25 over 99. So, balikan natin ngayon yung mga nasagutan na natin kanina. So, 0 0.3 bar is equal to 3 over 9. Nung nilowest term natin, ang sagot is 1 third. And then yung number 2, 0 0.25 bar is equal to 25 over 99. So, meron tayong mapapansin dito na kung ano yung inuulit na digit, siya yung numerator. Gaya niyan, si 3 na inuulit, 3 yung numerator. Dito naman sa kabila, si 25 na inuulit, 25 naman ang numerator. Now, ano naman yung mga denominator? So, kung mapapansin nyo, dito 9. Kasi isa lang yung inuulit. Ito naman 99 kasi dalawa naman yung inuulit. Now, ano yung technique para mas madali tayong makagawa ng fraction para sa repeating decimal? So, dito na tayo. So, ano ba yung technique or yung shortcut para mas madali natin maintindihan? So, the repeating digits will be the numerator. So, for example here, 3. Siya yung naging numerator. Ito naman, 25 yung inuulit. So, kaya 25 yung numerator. And then, the number of repeating digits will integrate the number of repeated 9 digits in the denominator. So, here, 3, yung inuulit, isa lang siya. So, ang denominator niya is 9. Isang 9 lang. Ito naman is 25. So, dalawa yung inuulit. Kaya, ang 9 naman sa baba is dalawa. So, 99. So, kalimbawa, tatlo na may inuulit, 999. Pag-apat, 9,999, and so on.
and then simplify if needed. Alam naman natin kapag ka fraction, dapat lagi naka lowest term. So now, ano kaya ang sagot kapag i-convert natin yung 0 0.123 bar sa fraction? So ito ay magiging so, si 1, 2, 3, yung inuulit. So, 123 yung numerator. And then, tatlo yung inuulit. So, tatlong 9 din yun. 999. And then, tignan natin kung pwede pa i-lowest term. So, pwede i-divide sa 3. So, divide natin by 3. Yung numerator tsaka denominator. So, 123 divided by 3 is equal to 41. And then, 999 divided by 3 is 333. Meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide kay 41 at 333 bukod sa 1? Wala na po. So, ito na po yung final answer. So, 0 0.123 bar in fraction will be 41 over 333. Okay, so paano naman kapag if the repeating digit is not immediately to the right of the decimal point? Okay, for example, 0 0.12, tapos 3, 3, yung 3 lang inuulit, hindi kasama yung 1, 2. So, gating gagawin natin. First is to let x be equal to the repeating decimal you are trying to convert into fraction. So, yun ulit yung equation 1 natin. Number two is examine natin ano ba yung mga inuulit na mga digits. And then step number three, multiply powers of 10 to the place digits para mapunta siya sa left side ng decimal point. So, equation two po yun. And then pang apat is multiply powers of 10 to, to place the non-repeating digits to the left of the decimal point. So, kung ilan yung Hindi inuulit na nasa kanan ng decimal point. Kailangan i-multiply natin sa powers of 10 para maputo siya sa kaliwa. And then, step 5 is subtract equation 3 from equation 2. And then last is to solve the value of x. So, isa-isa natin yung mga steps na yan in our example. Okay, let's have step number 1. We let x be 0 0.4, since si 2 lang yung inuulit, so 2, 2, and so on. And then, examine natin, si 4, hindi siya repeated infinitely, si 2 lang. Okay, yan yung ating equation number 1. So, examine natin, si 4 hindi inuulit, pero si 2 inuulit. So, ilang digit yan? Isang hindi inuulit, tapos isang inuulit. So, kailangan natin siyang i-multiply sa 10 squared. Kasi, dalawa po yung digit na kailangan natin papunta sa kaliwa. So, 10 squared times natin sa equation 1, 0 0.4, 2, 2, and so on. So, by the way, ang 10 square, alam naman natin, that is 10 times 10. Hindi po 20, ha? hindi yan 10 times 2. 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. 100 times x will be 100x is equal to, since 100 yan, dalawa yung mamomove sa kaliwa, magiging 42 point, and so on. Okay, so yan na po yung ating equation number 2. And then, and then, dito na tayo. So, next step naman is, kailangan si 4 dito mapunta na sa kaliwa para yung the rest ay yung mga inuulit na lang na digit or yung inuulit na lang na digit yung nasa right side. So, since isa lang naman yung hindi inuulit, the times natin sa 10 raised to 1 or sa 10. So, 10 times... 
yung equation 1 na 0 0.4, 2, 2, and so on. So, magiging 10x is equal to 0 0.4. So, magiging 10 times x, that will be 10x, and then 10 times 0 0.42, and so on. So, si 4 malilipat sa left side, so magiging 4.222, and so on. So, yan naman yung ating equation number 3. So, the next step is, I minus natin yung equation 3 sa equation 2. So, equation 2 ay 100 x is equal to 42.22 and so on. And then, yung equation 3 naman is 10 x is equal to 4.2 and so on. So, 100x minus 10x is 90x is equal to 42 minus 4. That will be 38. So, ito cancelled out na to. So, ang natira is, so, sulat ko lang dito, 90x is equal to 38. Divide both sides by 90. So, magiging x is equal to 38 over 90. And then, divide natin by 2 yung numerator at denominator para makuha yung lowest term. So, magiging 38 divided by 2 is 19. And then, 90 divided by 2 is 45. So, 0 0.4 2 bar is equal to 19 over 45. So, that's the final answer. Let us have another example. Number 2, convert 0 0.12, 45 bar to fraction. So, dito naman si 45 lang yung inuulit infinitely. Hindi kasama si 12. So, first is to let x be 0 0.12, 45, 45, and so on. So, C45 is being repeated infinitely. And that will be our equation number 1. Next is, na-examine na natin C12 yung hindi inuulit na digit. And C1 and 2. Yung hindi inuulit na digit. And then yung 45, yung digits na inuulit. So, since yung given dito is apat na digit, so dapat multiply natin yung equation 1 sa 10 raised to 4. X is equal to 0 0.12, 4, 5, 45, and so on. So, by the way, 10 raised to 4, since 4 yan, automatic dapat yung 0 will also be 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 10,000 siya. So, magiging 10,000 times x is 10,000 x is equal to, since apat na 0 yan, apat din dapat yung Move natin to the right. So, magiging 1, 2, 4, 5, 0. 0.45, 45, and so on. That will be our equation number 2. So, yung susunod naman natin gagawin is to multiply yung equation 1 sa power of 10. Bibilangin lang natin yung ano yung digit na hindi inuulit dito sa right side ng decimal point. So, 1, 2, dalawa. So, mumultiply natin siya sa 10 squared. So, 10 squared times yung equation number 1. 
Ayan, yan po equation number 1. So, pag multiply natin yan, 10 squared, di ba, 100 yun. So, sana alam na natin, ha? And then, 10 squared is 100 times x, 100x is equal to So, since dalawa yung 0, dapat dalawa din yung move to the right. So, magiging 12.4545 and so on. And then, yan na po yung ating equation number 3. Sunod na step is, subtract daw po natin yung Equation 2 kay Equation 3. So that will be 10,000x is equal to 1,245 and 45, 45 and so on. Minus 100x is equal to 12.4545 and so on. So, subtract natin 10,000 minus 100, that will be 9,900x is equal to 1,245 minus 12, that will be 1,233. So, this will be cancelled out. So, magiging, ito ko na yung sulat, 9,900x is equal to 1,233. So, divide both sides by 1,900. Cancel out. X will be 1,233 divided by 1,900. And then, the lowest term natin, divide natin yung numerator at yung denominator by 9. 9. So, magiging 1,233 divided by 9 is 137. And then, 9,900 divided by 9 will be 1,100. So, the final answer is 137 over 1,100. That is all for today guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video. Kung nais nice pong matuto, sana po lagi po kayong magsubaybay sa mga videos ko. Please subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell below at pinutin niyo yung all para lahat ng mga lessons ko ay notify kayo. So, God bless po sa bawat isa. Shout out sa mga sudyante ko and sa mga subscribers. Saranghe and ingat kayo always. Bye-bye!